I'm here to whoop ass! When people think of hard games, they think uh, Dark Souls. They think uh, Ninja Gaiden. Uh, they, they think uh, getting over it. But let me tell you something. Dark Souls ain't got shit on this game I'm about to show you. It's called Exanima. Now, both games start out very similar. You wake up in a dark room. Swords. They don't got swords. But that's where the similarities end. Dark Souls at least has the fucking common courtesy to leave little tooltips on the ground in the tutorial before cramming it in dry. In Exanima, you just, you just wake up in a puddle of your own piss. That's all the instruction you get. The movement in this game is some sort of like physics-based weirdness. It's like a, a real-time roguelike, but uh, your character has all the coordination and mobility of Ricky Berwick. Just move, just move, run! Fuck! When I first saw this game, I was absolutely enthralled, and I dove right in. What you're, what you're seeing here is like the my first 24 hours in the game. I, I got into it. <laughs> and let me tell you something. I'm gonna forewarn you. There's some emotional highs. And buddy, there's some emotional lows. Oh my God, I hear something out stomping. I can't see it though. Holy, what the f <laughs> I feel like at times this game breaks me. But before we get into it, a word from our sponsor. This episode's sponsored by Raycon. They make earbuds, not the kind that are hard plastic and cost more than my first car. These bad boys are half the price of their competitors, but they don't sound cheap. In fact, close your eyes and imagine what the opposite of cheap sounds like. Congrats. You just got a free Raycon experience. Raycon sent me their E25s. They're uh, wireless Bluetooth earbuds. You probably sound like my wife right now. Like, oh, they're not going to fit my ears. I have special Neanderthal ears. Look, these things come with like a million different tips. I'm sure even if you're like one of those cave dwellers from that movie, The Descent, you could find something to fit your ears. Guys, Andre the Giant died decades ago. You don't need to have these in here. Nobody has these ears anymore. Unlike their competitors, Raycons come in a, a variety of funky fresh colors. And I would say that they're perfect for working out, but let's be honest, I don't work out. <laughs> They're perfect for emptying the dishwasher while getting yelled at by your wife. So hard scope that link in the description and get 15% off your order of your very own Raycon E25s. That's buyraycon.com forward slash General Sam. Get 15% off your order. So I pick up a torch. I grab some stick I find. I try to learn the movement a little bit. Ow! And then, uh, and then I wander off into the dungeon. Bring it, dude. Want to go? Oh. What? <laughs> Fuck! Hit him! Hit him! Are you fucking for realius? There we go. I got. I got like a door jam. I found it down the hallway. Moved it all the way down here. This guy can't get out now. Dude, he just fucking stabbed the guy. It ain't that hard, bro. Am I dead again? I've been defeated! We're back at it again. Back in the death throes. Oh! I got some sort of error. I think I did it. All right, which door do you think I should choose? Oh, that looks nice and beautiful and bright. Oh, you're not a, you're not a nice person. You're very... I got more range than you, bitch. You can come at me with that big hammer all you want. It's fucking game. You see, in my mind, I made my character look like me so that I could finally see somebody with my generous and unathletic figure do some badass shit, like fight demons and stuff. Stuff that I knew I would never be able to do in real life. But instead, I got to see someone that looks like me struggle to do the most menial of tasks, like walking. Ow! <laughs> and then get his ass kicked by this dude that looks like a, a, someone that escaped from an internment camp. I didn't even get past his second enemy. It's fucking embarrassing. So what did I do? Instead of cultivating a healthier lifestyle, that would help prolong my life, help me be a better father, and help me maintain a higher level of self-esteem. 
I decided to do the easier thing and train my in-game skills in the arena. One of us is going to be fucking epic, and it's easier for me if it's him. Oh, double click and hold, and you do an above. <laughs> oh, the overhand attack is so good. Oh. oh, get your sword off me. It's a pathetic piece of equipment. I got other things to do. Get out of here. I'm just laying kids up right now with the stick. Who's this bitch with the blue fucking outfit? Get out of here, bitch. <laughs> Get you in your blue fucking judo outfit out of here. You ain't getting no alimony from me, bitch. Get out of here. <laughs> Call the cops, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Call the cops. Hey, we're moonwalking out of here. Yo, yo fucking put a, put a chair in front of yourself so she like walks into it or something. She's gonna whack me. Oh no no no! I'm stuck. Ah! She's got me laid up in a chair. Yo. This is a bad idea. Oh That's my fuck! Idea. <laughs> it's a good idea. Ah! She's knocking over the table. Get me out of here, dude! You're. Why would you? Suggest... <laughs> Why would you suggest this, you fucking madman? All right, Steve. Any rank can fight him, but he's master tier. You have it, dude. As long as you have the stick, you're fine. I have the stick. I'm fine. I'm not winning this. <laughs> Maybe I can knock him out. Okay. Actually doing damage. <laughs> I am the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did it? No way. <laughs> howdy, bitch. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, howdy, bitch. Oh, howdy, bitch. Oh. I think I'm ready. I think it's time for my Steve Jobs underdog story. I'm revisiting the dungeon. <laughs> Open the door, dude. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> you look like a mummy? What is that thing? Oh, dude, he fucking... Wait, the guy just came... <laughs> dude, he ran! Oh, my God! <laughs> he he just off. ran away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yo, he got so bad. Oh, that's great. It fits your waistline. You know, Brian highlighted one of the more interesting parts of this game to me. You can use the environment to help you. Want to block a door? Cram some shit in front of it. Got a long-reaching weapon? Put a table in between you and the enemy you're fighting. Need an improvised helmet? Uh, fucking put a bucket on your head. Need a dildo? There's fucking candlesticks and table legs all over the place. Just pick it up off the floor. There's so many possibilities. Oh, what about that metal pan? You see it? Yeah. Like a pot? Yeah, that's like better. Oh, it's like a cauldron. <laughs> oh, that's an upgrade. <laughs> an that upgrade, upgrade. upgrade of the century. <laughs> yeah. That is, you're gonna be untouchable in the face. Oh fuck! Oh, fuck. <laughs> have you been here before? No, this is. I have no idea where the fuck I am. Oh, that hey, guy is all. Guy. He's got a fucking pole axe. Stop kissing him. <laughs> oh my god! Don't tell me twice, bitch. <laughs> fuck, I'm stuck. Oh, 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 he grazed me. Oh shit! He didn't graze me. He fucking beat the shit out of me. I got st I got my foot stuck in the box. And see, look, that's it. Like, I have to start literally... Look, new game. Like, I have to start as a fat idiot stuck on the floor. Yeah, like, I'm back to this. This is what I'm back to. This, game, this game's just depressing. Put the stool in front of him. Close the door. Put the barrel in front of the door. No! Oh, move! No! He fell! He gun! Oh my god, he's fighting the door. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. What I'm did dead. You You're gonna die! I'm dead, dude. There's nothing I can do. My arm, my fucking axe is stuck in the door. Did you see that? Hey, new game. Hey, yo, ready up. <laughs> if I can dipshit row. It's a double-edged sword. I feel like if you run past that thing... I'm gonna be trip. stuck in there with him? Yeah. Fuck. You're like, why are you fucking him? What the fuck? <laughs> this isn't meant to be this violent! 
<laughs> oh shit, there's chests. Where? The top left. Oh, there's a guy there. There's a guy there. I saw his legs. Where? Top, top where the tables are. He's moving to the right now. He's on the right side of the wall. <laughs> on Abby's calling? <laughs> I'll hey. deal with this in a moment. I want to get in there with my axe. I'd make a break for the fucking tables, honestly. Just zigzagging around them. Out of my way, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Why it's do I always listen working. to you, it's you psycho? Oh, it's working. It's working. Look at the look at that. He's eating shit right now. He's under the fucking table. That actually, yeah. you know what? I don't. I was mad at first, but now, yeah, I think I can just leave him there. Oh yeah, I can chop on the ground, huh? I get his ankle. You. F oh. Oh! oh! <laughs> He's got a claymore! Oh no, it's a stick. <laughs> I'm oh! oh that, was, that was an easy one. Wait, wait. Get away oh, from God. me! Oh! You you got killed by- He's what? still under the fucking table! Just- I got killed by a guy with holding a stick! I'm still- like, Oh wait, 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 I'm still here?! Wait, what?! Why are you alive still? I think I just got knocked out because it was a blunt weapon. Wife comes home with the kid. It's time for me to be dad guy. Go and find a bathroom to hide in. I'm gonna hide in here and get off because Abby's coming home. There we go. Right. I'll just be in the toilet. While I'm off being Mr. Mom and changing diapers, Brian buys the game, plays the game, surpasses everything I've done so far, and discovers something that will change the landscape of this game forever and always for me. I got a homeboy. <laughs> Where's he? Like, what's his? Where do you find him? I don't know. Who? He's just in some random fucking side room. His name's Darren. They got dead ass Darren here. Go, okay, 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 dude. You have to guide me to him because I am struggling okay. real hard. <gasps> Darren! I'm just a farmhand. Name's Darren. Well met, Darren. I go my XX Snoop Slayer XX, I think. This right here, this was the beginning of a beautiful friendship between me and Darren. From here on out, dude, nothing but blue skies, just cutting down foes. You know, just me and Darren, just two buds, cutting our way through the uh, Monastery Catacombs Level 3, on our way to Hunt and Ariel. Good job, Darren. What a beautiful little buddy. Brian, have you found a use for a ladder yet? Besides just putting it on Darren's head? No. That sounds like a good idea, though. The way you said that makes me think that you put it on his head as you said it. Not <laughs> <laughs> comfortable yeah. with you share, sharing your abuse of this. NBC 100%. Dude, he doesn't seem to enjoy it. He's squatting really far to the ground now. It's around his waist at this point. He's laying on the ground. He, he, he doesn't look happy. He's regretting this partnership. <laughs> So the reason you don't want him to die is just so you have somebody to abuse in the dungeon. Dude, I, I found a pipe. I'm gonna keep it. I dude, there's like you get a thousand crack pipes. Are you talking about the crack pipe? Yeah, it's glass. <laughs> I'm fucking yeah. it's a glass <laughs> crack pipe. I'm taking that shit, dude. That's going on with me. I better I better get one souvenir from this fucking shithole. Darren, are you all right? Oh my God, I think he's alive. Darren got knocked over by a guy holding a prosthetic leg and he does not look okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's leaning against the wall and he's like quaking, dude. I'm at the guy, with the, I'm at the guy with the fucking two-handed sword. Yeah, he's like the final boss, dude. Because then it's the gate to the next place. He's swinging, oh my God. Darren just full to zero in one hit. I miss, I miss not having Darren. I honestly feel like he should have the, the he's not gonna but i feel like he should, <laughs> he, he should, he should, have, he should have but he ain't gonna you know the real prize is the fucking sword though that thing is fucking amazing <laughs> oh dude wait wait darren might be he might be trying to walk away from me man we, I, wait, went why? Down, he's like... I went down to the second floor if he's like excuse me if we're trying to escape why are we going deeper <laughs> <laughs> Did he say that? Yeah. He's like, wait, hold on. He's like, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. 
<laughs> Shouldn't we be leaving? <laughs> Shouldn't we be going the opposite way? <laughs> I found a crack pipe even Gandalf would use. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Yo, it's, this... the grand, it's the grand green one, right? It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> this thing's the grandmaster of all crack pipes. Oh, shit, this place is fucking huge. Uh oh, that doesn't sound like a good gas. Is that like a rare item gas? Or is that like a... Darren just got his head cut off in front of you, kind of gas. Oh my god, Darren. You fucking, you playful trickster, you! Gets his what? fucking block knocked in and he lays on the ground like he's dead. Here? Uh, I, You're I'm, I'm fighting a guy right now. Darren's fucking right. getting his ass whooped. Alright, Darren, you're just playing. Get up. Dude. Darren, you're just playing, right? <laughs> Darren. Throw a bucket of water on him. Hmm? Okay, Darren died. <laughs> Darren, Darren, Darren fucking like that. died. After Darren's passing, I had to keep going, but it was it was a hollow experience. You ever been on vacation alone? You know? Or better yet, have you ever like done something epic and then you like turn to your friend and you go to raise your hand to, for a high five and then you realize that you're not with your friend anymore and you're actually just way down in the bowels of a labyrinthian medieval dungeon and you're all alone it's a lot like that oh I got him to fall down into a coffin I... oh I fell down into a coffin oh no 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 he <laughs> fell in with me <laughs> that's what happened to you Brian this is yep. horrible <laughs> He's not... I got him <laughs> Uh, that was horrific, and then it turned out really cool. <laughs> I want my potion back. I want my Darren back. That's what I want. Fuck. Man, Darren would have loved this crack pipe. Look at this thing. Every room in this game looks so goddamn close, similar, so it's like, I don't know. Have I looted this place before? Have I not? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that, that, you know what? It was the weird <laughs> grunt he did while doing it that really <laughs> threw me off. <laughs> that freaked me out. I thought, you were, <laughs> I thought it was someone swinging at me in game because I'm looking at my map. He's <laughs> <laughs> What the f Oh, it's a skeleton! Where the fuck did you come from? Get off of me, you fucking whore. I got him on the ropes, Brian. I got his head stuck in a cupboard and I'm fucking beating his body. <laughs> I keep working my way down. We're three levels deep. I enter a portal that looks suspiciously like the portal to the arcane sanctuary, but we ain't doing summoner runs, chief. This shit brought me into a Dwimmer ruin. Look at them tables and chairs. Tell me you don't expect a Falmer to come running out of nowhere. Oh my god, I threw him on the ground. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, he died. <laughs> I found like an armory room. It's everything! I got the whole set! The exceptional, the whole nine! Also, I'm out of health potions. I wish I could have given one to Darren. I really would have. <laughs> you are you've been sitting there stewing on that for days that like you have Dude. That was like so long ago. You're just like, God, I wish I gave one to Darren. <laughs> Dude. Darren's my boy, and I feel like I kinda should have been down. Darren. <laughs> yeah. I went through a uh I went through a hole that I found and I'm in a even lower part of the map. Looks like it's some sort of sewer. Yeah, I basically look like I'm under Luke Galane right now. Oh my god, I hear something out stomping. I can't see it though. Holy, what the fuck is that? It's not even a person. What the fuck? Oh, I'm not even dead. What was it? Was it like a werewolf? 
Uh oh. What? Oh, here we fucking go. Is this what is this what my life's become? Just getting knocked out repeatedly by this fucking ape. He's not a pussy. He's still running after me. It's him. There's more than one. What the fuck is that? I've come to terms with the fact that in these depths, I just can't fight anything except for skeletons. Everything's kicking my ass. So I decided to go up a level and try to see if there's any new areas that I might be able to venture into. I might add that after the loss of Darren, I have become completely demoralized. In fact, if the next thing this game throws at me isn't significantly easier, I might just snap because it has been ass kicking after ass kicking. Is it just me or do these guys look like they're holding actual weapons? Like they might start moving at any time. Look, his fucking his polearm moves. You see? He's moving! That's a person! I got my eye on you, bro. More importantly, I got my eye on you, too. Huh? I know what you guys are up to. You? Yeah, don't even think for a second I don't have my eye on you. And, uh... And you. There's a lot of these guys. I really hope they don't start moving. That is... That is what, and they're huge. Look at them. They're like silver knights from Dark Souls. They're like fucking eight feet tall. What? That one just moved. He just straight up fucking moved. I saw him do it. I saw him. A replay on that. Instant replay. Is he going to come after me? I saw you take a step, bro. You can't fool me, brother. Yeah, oh, he's moving. I start jostling into him all of a sudden. He becomes animated. I know what you're up to. <laughs> Fucking guy right now. Acting like he doesn't know what he's up to. I'm going to get behind him. You got, you got a problem with me having this lover's embrace on you? Yeah, shut up. What the fuck? Excuse me. Excuse me. I said, excuse me. Holy shit, they're huge. What the heck is, what the fuck? Why did they, oh, they're so fast. Their legs are so long and sturdy. Oh, uh, it sounds like a depth charge when it's running. Tell me that's not what a submarine hears when it runs into a mine. Oh, fuck. Like, unless I have a blunderbuss, how am I supposed to fight those guys? You know, I mean, has anybody else played this game and found a fucking howitzer in a chest that I can <laughs> that I can use to dent that armor? What the fuck? What is that? What is this Resident Evil? Oh, wow. He's whacking at the door. <laughs> yeah, but I saw you, bro. You ain't got opposable thumbs getting out of here. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Look at these guys. Look at them. Give them a once over. Impenetrable armor. Do you see a weak spot there? Do you see a place where I can slip a knife in? The guy has full even a what?